Hello, my name is Tyrone Love. This segment is about house music, and the format of, about this is about women DJs in the music industry. I have four ladies here that's in the industry, and I'm going to introduce you to them. DJ Missy B, this is Indy, my co-host, Celetra, and MK. Ladies, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk about how you got started in the business. Um, we're going to start with Missy B. Well, I started DJing in 1978, and from there, I just kept on going. Okay. Indy, you're a promoter, so let's talk about your domination force as being a, you know, as being a, a promoter right here. Well, it's just starting out with grassroots, starting off with DJ Disciple. Also, my sister over here, MK, she gave me a little bit of a push too, carrying them records back in the days when she first started. <laughs> so I just carried on with it and just kept going with it. And I always want people to know where the party is and where to go. So. And she does. <laughs> Selectra. Um, let's talk about you. You know, uh, I see you all over the place, you know, and I, I want to know, actually, how did you get started? Well, I started about seven years ago, late in the game. Okay. Um, my influence was uh, Walter Gibbons, actually. I was in the music business, got out of it. I wanted to do something more, and I hung around with my cousin, Miss <laughs> B, and MK, you know, and, and you know, major influences as well. So I just said, let me just okay. do it. Right. And we have DJ MK. So let's talk, let's talk about how you got you know, actually started in this business? About 1993, and coming from Waitressen, that was kind of a good job. <laughs> so. so let's talk about the house music community. I mean, how do you feel about it? How is it dominating? Is it dominating over hip hop? You know, uh, are people acting like they really want to be in the business, or do you feel like they should be in the business? You know, um, who do you guys idolize, you know, MK? For me, it's actually my peers, like other DJs, mm -hmm. you know, especially these two right here. Like, I love their music so much. And then, you know, like radio DJs like Flex, just, I love his hip hop. Um, DJ Cast, you know, people like that. Like, you know, there's big influences on me, very big influence. So let's just, let's talk about, you know, who really influences you as far as your idol as a DJ. Hmm. Well, my peers, you know? My peers, basically. I, I follow a lot of DJs. I listen and I learn. You know, I'm, I'm still a work in progress. So, that's okay. basically it. Missy B, let's talk about your influences as far as who's your idol. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't really have any idols. Um, I listen to my peers and I listen to all styles of music. And I appreciate as long as it has a good beat. I'm a beat person. Okay. And for the house, actually, what really started getting me into house was actually Little Louis Vega. Okay. Because he That's always one of my had favorites as well. he had the beats. And so we're gonna so we're gonna it. talk about you know the uh, we're gonna talk about uh, internet DJs and DJs that works the floor. So can you tell me the difference between that and how would you really you know how do you go about it? Internet DJs and DJs that work the floor. Yeah. Internet DJs just playing on the computer at home on the internet. Okay. And like us, we, well, opposite of us, we do the clubs, and that's it. Like, we interact with people one-on-one, -on -one, not through a screen. That's cool. And, uh, Celestra, I mean, you, you influenced me as far as one of my idols as a female DJ. Oh, okay. Thank because, you. <laughs> um, I mean, I listen to you. You know, uh, you have a very unique style of playing, Afro House, you know, um, on the charts in Mixed Cloud. You know, um, flies all over the place. You know, I mean, really, you just, you're, 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 you're awesome. So let me ask you a question. Um, you know, when you're actually, how do you feel as far as an internet DJ and a, a, a club DJ? What's, what, would you, what, would be your, what would you, what would be your input on that? Well, I do both. Hey, that's you, why know, I, yeah, I know. you know, I have a show on Cyber Jams and I do gigs, but the difference with, being on the internet, I could play what I want. When you're playing for a crowd, you have to play to please the crowd. You have to read your crowd and play for that crowd to keep them on the floor. So that's okay. the difference. Definitely Missy B. True. Definitely true. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, um, um, what's, your, what's your input on that? Like she said, basically, internet, you get to play whatever you're feeling. 
when you're in the club, you have to make sure your people are partying. You have to make sure that you're looking and seeing who's moving and how they're moving. You don't want a two-step. You want people to be sweating, screaming your name. That's what I'm used to. And I like I'm going to ask you all a real crazy <laughs> question. You know, as women DJ, do you think that men DJ are intimidated by you guys? Absolutely. 100%. Mm -hmm. We're better. We're prettier. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I mean, the force of it all, I mean, have y'all ever had any type of uh, conflict as far as criticism as being women DJs? Yes. Can you, can you give me some, um, can you give me some input on that? Well, I mean, sometimes you just get like little side comments, like, you know, and you overhear things. You know, if one of my guys were here, it might have been better. And you just got to kind of just listen and just keep listening. Okay. That's all. Can't, can't take it to heart. Selectress, you have any input on that? No, because I really, I mean, the people, the guys that I know, I, I, I haven't heard anything negative towards me, honestly. Okay. I got something negative. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Indy, you know, uh, I've known you for a while, and um, I love her because when she promotes a party, she's always saying, come on, Ty, I got you, you know, which is cool. But um, as far as the energy and the compatibility of being a woman promoter, what's, you know, um, do, you have a, do you have any negative uh, influences out there that's really criticizing you as being a promoter? No, not really. It's like right now I've actually had a lot of people that actually have formed around me and actually enlist my services too. So I really haven't had any bad input with anybody out there in regards to me promoting anything like that. I've BCB, been blessed. do you have anything to say about that? Well, what I noticed is the guys, first of all, they always want the women to open up. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's what they want. They that's want the women true. to open up so they can come in and feel like, all right, I can take over now and I'm oh, Superman. So if you open up and you do too good of a job, they're not going to call you again. Mm. And that happened to me a couple of times. So out here right now, as far as uh, DJs and producers, who influences you as a producer? I have to think about that one because I'm not even sure. There's just so many. Yeah. I can't even tell you off the top of my head. So many. Would you say Louis Vega? Would you say Kevin Hodges? Dennis Would you Maria. say Mickey or Flick? Uh, yeah. Dennis. Dennis? I yeah, like Dennis him a lot. Cool. Him and Louis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. And, you know, and... Um, charisma, charisma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Charisma, yes. Yeah. So are you guys playing the top tens or are you all playing a lot of promos or, you know, are you all playing a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, a lot of promotional stuff that producers are playing right now? I'm in the clubs on a regular, so I do a lot of top ten, a lot of top forty. Okay. A lot. And, and you select to? I play what gets them dancing. That's what I play. Yep. <laughs> I read is. that crowd and that, okay, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm it talking is. About. And Missy, what, what about you? I mean, what's, what's your influence as far as top producers? Who, who, who do you think is dominating the force right now? Well, in, in horse, in like, horse I said, like I said, like I said, Little Louie and um, Dennis Ferrer, I like him a lot. I like him really, really a lot. I like Louie, too, and I like a lot of them, but I'm also a producer, too, so I want y'all to like me as well. Uh, <laughs> send me that track you had. Oh, uh, I will. I will. <laughs> you know, send, um, the heart, send it to me, too. <laughs> Let's talk about the house music community for what it is right now. Where do you think it stands at right now? I'm not really okay. sure because I play a lot of different music, so I'm okay. not in the house as much as these guys are. Okay. I'm more in the hip-hop and the reggae so and stuff. This should be a question for you, Selectress. Mm -hmm. I say that again? How do you, <laughs> how do you, how do you feel... I mean, the, the house community right now, how do you feel it stands right now? Mm. As far as population, attitude, charisma, well, you know, characteristics, yeah, I, things of that nature. It's the older scene now. It's people over 40. Okay. So my thing is, you know, we need to grab the younger, the younger kids and influence the younger kids, the younger DJs. And unfortunately, it's not as easy because the older people criticize a lot, you know? If you're playing on a controller, you're not a real, real DJ. If you never started on vinyl, you're not a real DJ, you know? So I think that's a conflict with bringing in the younger folks. Mm. Uh, who who's who plays vinyl? I still have my <laughs> you still, Do you play? Yeah, not really. Why? Well, we go to a gig, you go to a club, either they have a controller <coughs> or they have CDJs. 
So I have my whole collection still in the basement, in my back mm. room, some in the garage, some here in the washroom. And I keep saying I'm going to go through it and okay. pull out some good stuff, but I Just never, never, never do it. Yeah. Okay. No vinyl. No vinyl. Uh, Sletcher? No vinyl. No vinyl. So um, is, is everybody uh, going to like track source band camp? You know, stuff like that, buying. I, I shop everywhere. Yeah, I shop. Buy. I shop everywhere. So nobody sending you a lot of stuff, or. You know? Well, it depends. You know, it depends. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you all a question. You know, um, how do you feel as yourself being a DJ? I mean, what are you really putting out there to these people? I mean, what are you expressing to them? I mean, you're playing for them, mm -hmm. but what's the voice that you really want them to hear from you? My thing is. When I got into music, first of all, like I said, I was born and bred into the music. And once I started playing for diverse crowds, I followed the music and pushed it out there to them. So I can do a rave, I could do a reggae, I could do a Spanish, I don't know what they're saying, but I listen to the beat. I could do African, I listen to the beat. I've always learned how, when I first started, I learned how to blend, and that's what I do. Okay. As far as the house stuff, I had to slow down from changing it so fast because I watch the crowd and they're not used to you going in so fast. Right. So you have to let them make it play a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So that's what I learned. And from there. So I'm going to ask you a question. Um, I'm going to start with you, MK. Where do you see yourself five or ten years from now as far as being a DJ? Wow. Um, What's your projection on that? Probably still DJing, but from a different aspect, like maybe more on the internet, more giving tracks and mixes and stuff like that. You want to be more upscale? Yeah, definitely more upscale. I won't be probably as in the As far as domination, as crowd, yeah, things of that yeah. nature, that level, that, that Louis, Vega, you know, type of era? Possibly, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Selectress, how about you? I want to get into production okay. and playing in, in, in a big room. Okay. That's what I want to do. Missy B. I want to be retired. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Man. I'm tired of club, but I love the club. I, I mean, the energy. I love yeah. the energy, you know? So you Ugh. feel sometimes you want to give up, but then again, you just have that passion for it? I have the passion for it, and they keep calling. I guess when they stop calling is when I'll stop. I don't think so. They're not, they're not because it's a passion. <laughs> I've been playing for like 35 years, and I've always said to myself, you know what? I'm going to give this up, you know, and then I go into my studio and I'm looking around, and I see all this equipment and, and everything, and you all of a sudden, yourself. you know, I turn it on and all of a sudden, you know, it's like, uh, wow, <laughs> you know. Well, you hear one song. I just hear like, one song mm -hmm. and it takes me into a whole different <laughs> right. format yeah. of starting all over again. That's right. Then I'm getting these own. phone calls mm -hmm. and say, well, Tyrone, do you want to come to England? Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, um, such a, uh, uh, Selection, how, how long have you been paid for side events? Uh, going on five years. Okay. So we're going to give up a big out to Sam Re Rock, you know, the president and CEO of, of uh, Cyber Jams. Absolutely. Um, and you play like every... Every other Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So how's, how's your weekend. fan base on it? Pretty good. Pretty good. You're hitting yeah. the millions or the thousands? Or? Uh, <laughs> not bad, but... <laughs> it's but always it's pretty, it's, increasing. You know, yeah, it's increasing. Steadily. Definitely. Definitely okay. increasing. So do you think the do you think the women DJs are actually going to dominate the men DJs out here? Or? Yes. Really? No. Yes. They're not going to let it happen. It, I don't happen. think I don't think it's a choice here because there's more just like there's more and more female rappers coming out daily. There's more and more female DJs yeah. coming out, and I think it's almost out of ba not not saying it's out of balance, but. There is a lot of good females out there that yeah, can really are. dust the males in a heartbeat, yeah, and true. I see nothing but good things coming from it. And I see nothing but potential. And I see I see females moving in and taking over. I really do. I don't see. That. I don't. I don't. I doubt I'm delusional. Really, <laughs> it's too much politics now. And yeah, and that's true. There's a lot of well, politics. Well, this music is always politics. Yeah, yeah, but they're not gonna let the females take over. That's not gonna. You don't happen. think so? No, no. So let me ask you. Uh, how do you feel? What do you have to? What do you, if you if you really had to influence the young DJs that's coming up right now? What would you actually say to them? MK, lock a male DJ in the closet and take over. <laughs> so let's see what you got to say to the upcoming DJs that's coming out. Learn your musical history. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. Yep. I totally agree. And you can't stick with just one genre of music. Mm -hmm. Play everything. Mm -hmm. 
play yep. everything. And nobody does no producing here? I did. Okay. I had a uh, little record remix company, mm -hmm. Big Mama Records. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back so in let's the talk early about 2000s. that. Let's talk about that. I mean, how far did you go with it? And what did you actually put out there? I did a lot of remixes. I took people's stuff and made it hotter. Okay. I did house um, beats and stuff like that over the hip hop, over R and B. Any sort particular of like, type of software you were using at the time, or uh, Pro Tools? Okay. That's that's how long ago it was. That was a long time ago. <laughs> right. I, start, I started off with Pro Tools. Yeah, so long. But now you can do it on a controller now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about let's talk about good things. You know, um, let's talk about real good things. Uh, Indy as a promoter. You know, um, how do you actually get the people to really, you know, um, get out there and let them know what's, what's really going on out there? Well, usually people try to go the route of social media, but I come from the era where you have to beat the street and give those paper flyers out. And sometimes you have to go and meet people. It's not all about just going on Facebook or any other social media. You got to go out there and talk to people and be like, hey, listen, you coming to my party? Yo, I you're going to have a good time when you come to my party. Here's my business card. Matter of fact, you want, you want me to get you in for free? Give them a little taste. Okay. That's <laughs> Give them a little taste and then you get them hooked. Okay. So as far as you've been doing it, have you had any good days, bad days? You know, oh, you're always going to have good days and bad days. And how, you know? you get, how do you get around that? You know, did it, did it do a clear part of your <laughs> ego where you want to say to yourself, well, uh, you know, I, I really don't want to do this anymore? Or Oh, it gets like that. But you know what? I love people and I love the music. And there's nothing like when you do a party mm -hmm. and you got the DJ rocking the crowd and they're sweating, like Missy said, sweating all over the place and screaming and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that. And then you can sit there and say, I put this together. Right. Me, that's who. So where, where do you <laughs> want to be five or ten years from now as, you know, as being part of this craft of uh, you know, being promoting you know, parties? I actually want to take this and actually host a radio show. Okay. That's where I want to take it, host a radio show host the internet show, and um, that's where you know, I'm I, I think you have that type of good attitude, you know, like I was, I was kidding with her earlier, you know, I could see her with a suit and tie on and she's hosting on WABC, <laughs> you know, and, um, not really, I mean, she has that type of energy and she has that type of potential, Thank you know, you. and, um, you know, for guys out there, we're going to be doing some uh, production out there this summer, hitting all types of places and, you know, interviewing places and, you know, doing some current events. You know, and um, just stay tuned for that. Uh -huh. um, so, ladies, you know, uh, we have a few minutes left. So, anything you have to say to you know the public, you know, how they can how, get in how contact can we with actually you? contact yeah. you, and you know, you know, you know your availability. DJ MK's World on Instagram, and I'm at Boxers every Friday night. The resident DJ, Boxers Washington Heights, as a matter of fact from 11 to 4, Saturdays um, with Bryce events um, at stage 48, same time, 11 to 4. And the rest of the week I used to do my mixes and practice my craft. Okay, so let's just... Uh, catch me on cyberjams.com every other Sunday from 6 to 8. Um, DJMissK at gmail.com and I'll be playing uh, for Frankie at the uh, Happiness, 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 yeah, Happiness, Happiness Lounge. Lounge next Friday. Okay. Missy B, let's uh, talk D about you. DJ Missy B on Instagram, DJ Missy B on Facebook. I have two pages. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't wait for the summertime because me and my cousin are going to be rocking out with Frankie on Coney Island. Nice. Mm -hmm. Coney Island dance. Oh, I got used to it. I'll be out there too. Yeah, yeah. We, they already put the list yeah, out. Yeah, they did put the list out. They put the list out. I'll be out there with you nice. guys. Uh, it's going to be jamming. And man. then I play every weekend different places, so just check me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm everywhere. And Andy, what's your next current event? What's coming up? Well, right now, I'm being like a bear. I'm hibernating for the winter. Okay. And I don't want to say too much, but stay tuned. The summer's going to be hot. It's going to be blazing. Okay. And so, there it goes. Um... We're talking about women that's actually in the force of DJing in the house music community. My name is Tyrone Lowe, and um, you can catch me on lowtyrone at gmail.com. I play for LWR, which is a house station in the UK, and um, I have my, I'm a studio owner, uh, and I'm getting into the video field of having my own production company. Um, you can catch me at 
any time on the internet because I'm always putting out mixtapes. And she always just say, oh, he's the hardest working guy in this car. But hey, you got to get that music out there. Yeah. And so um, we're going to end this. And um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs>